Hello everyone and welcome again to Sip with Sam where I am here and I'm so excited with the queen of Dallas, the one and only Miss Leanne Lockin. You are so sweet. And by the way, I, I have never referred to myself as queen. So Deandra can have that damn Girl, title. you won the poll. I mean, I may, oh, I may have voted. I didn't voted, even know that I it was a poll. Have, no, I may have voted 65 Wait. times on my own. Oh! This morning, you won by 32%, okay? I fucking love it. Gonna cuss. One the, no, um, please, please cuss. Uh, nice. That's funny. And I, uh, everybody keeps telling me she keeps signing off on her blogs as Queen Bee or whatever. And I'm oh, just girl, like, oh, let her have it. it. Let, 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 let her have, have it. It's let like, her have it in her head, but you, you have know, it in life. Here's the thing. When you need to wax, just do it. Yeah. Oh, oh that's one of those Leanisms. I don't know where they come oh. from. Anyways, cheers. Welcome cheers. to Sip with Sam. And it's such a pleasure to have you. I'm so excited to be here. You look gorgeous. Girl. I did not know I was supposed to dress up because you like <laughs> 10. Me, no, this is casual. For I'm me. like a two and a I half. I like to tra traipse around in my caftans and you know. Mm. Oh, I'm not going to smash anything. Oh, oh, I love it if you did. You I, can, I you pulled the nail rates. this morning and I just keep pushing it. Because I told my nail girl, I go, no, leave them long for New York. Because I normally keep them need shorter. A claw, bitch, yeah. I was good. <laughs> I was good last night. <laughs> I just did. I was dying at your story when you were like, Bitch, do you have the key to the room? I just uh, got a weenie in the bag, and I, I was know. like, and I was like, and I was like, see you in a few hours, queen. We go, we go down, and they're like, and we come into the, and I'm, we were both so hungry, and we get. So you got yourself like, a weenie. You love hot dogs. Well, they had a hot. They were like, I was like, hot dog and fries, and I'm like, how do I not order a hot dog and fries? Like, are you kidding me? And I'm like, I know I should have a salad. But there's a hot dog. You look. And then I got it, and the saddest part was I took the hot dog upstairs, and I swear to you, one end of it looked uncircumcised. And I was like, how do I eat this? This is not right. The one and only Leanne Locken. I have come prepared. I didn't know what look she would you. look. Look at you. Shut up. But I know that my queen likes, you know, to bang on things. Hell, we all like to bang on things. She's got a silver spoon, a bowl, the whole bucket. Welcome back to Sip with Sam, you guys. And I am here with the queen of Dallas, Miss Leanne Locken, who I must just say, for this early in the morning, has really brought it on every level. The nails, bra, the, you like? the ring, close up on the ring, please. I know, I Huge love it. Huge congrats, Rich Thank did very you. well. Yes. Can I ask, did you give him any tips, or did he just know what you wanted? You know what's so sweet is, I've always said to him that I love a marquee, because right. you know, I love long nails. Right. I'm really into, like if you look on my Instagram, I have a nail, yeah. little circle. Yes. I love nails. So it kind of elongates it. And it does, it elongates yes. your finger. Yes. And then I said, the only thing besides a marquee is my favorite shape. The only thing besides that is I would love to have your heart and my heart represented somehow. Love that. And so he put two hearts. That's his heart and my heart on love either that. side. Yeah. Gorge. So he did good. And you know, he did very good. Unlike what some people say, diamonds don't shut me up. <laughs> 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 Guess I'm not all about the money. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Speaking of not all about the money, yes. I, I see that you are dripping in diamonds and dripping in bling. I mean, even if we're not having, you know, 75 karat diamonds, I think you always look flawless. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I think you have definitely brought it this last season. I, I have. have to say, though, with I have been a loyal watcher and Leanne Faye fan from day one, I would say Cute. season two, I mean, I was like, bow down to the queen. When you, oh, you were threw so that glass at Duber, I literally pumped up and jumped on the bed. And I was like, yeah. can I fall, watch it again a thousand times? I, I have no clue why this group of women Just has yet to... Un well, I haven't understood yet why they don't understand, don't physically challenge me. Like, don't I have you. no, no I, clue. Yeah. Like, I'm... Not I think someone at this you want to mess with. Well, I'm not. No. Like, why do you want to fuck with me? Like, is, is it that, it's your nature? Like, what is your issue? What is your issue that you want to see what my issue looks like? Do you think it's my because that they're big. jealous that you are definitely the fan favorite, you have the biggest Instagram following, you Look, are the queen? You know what? Do you think it's a little bit of jealousy? But here's, I, I, if it is, then do your own, do what I do, which is get out there. If you talk to me on social media, I talk back. And I've unless, always noticed that, yes. Unless it's negative. I don't do, listen, you don't like what color underwear I got on? Then don't come on page and don't come for me. I don't care. Right. Like, no negative energy. Right. I'm all about, like, if you ain't got a donut, don't don't come to my party. So many donuts I for know. you. I know. Like, see? So I'm like, you know, my whole thing is, like, I just, I don't get why these girls don't understand that getting in my space, like, yeah. first of all, 
when when a woman walks to you into your space, yeah, you want to come. Are you the kind of person that backs up? Hell no. Okay. I would back in and be like, you see this? I'm gonna stand fit. solid. Yeah, and punch you like out. a brick wall. Yeah. And if you can't knock a hole in this brick wall, maybe you shouldn't be challenging me. Boom. That's why you're my favorite. I'm just saying, like, don't challenge someone unless you think you could win. Now, stupidly, I think this I season think you're going to see one person oh, yeah, who know thinks who she can win, and sadly... You break her like a pencil. I, I, just, I just think ignorance is not a good thing. No, I it's think, not, it's not know, always I think, bliss. I think you should uh, pay a little more attention, and, and believe me that last names don't stop me mm -hmm. from being authentic or genuine with my feelings. That was definitely my, that was my first question. You know, they always call it reality TV. Reality TV. Everyone agrees... Shout out to Gaspacho, your second biggest <laughs> fan. I'm I love here with you. the queen. I love you. We always discuss at length that she is the only reality star that is the epitome of what a real housewife should be because she's Aww. real. She is so real, it hurts. I and the other girls can't take it because they, they gotta put can't. on fronts and pretenses. Well, I feel like I feel like a lot of times on this show, on Housewives especially, but Absolutely. It's, it, extremely on our show, that the whole Dallas. Some thing kind of, of my cast really have this. Bubble. Presentation yes. of what they want to present. And they don't want you to see behind the, the scenes over doors. here. Absolutely. Here's my thing. I'm gonna show you behind the scenes right here, right now, up close and personal. Yeah. Because then anything that I do that looks better than that, you're gonna be like, woohoo, yay. Yeah. I'm just not affected by cameras. I think I grew up in the entertainment industry. This is what I do for a living. Absolutely. I've been hosting, directing, creating, producing TV yes. shows commercials, movies, for so long that at this point I'm like, I just don't care if someone doesn't like me. Speaking of movies, yes. your movie, Miss Congeniality, yes. I watched it a million and one times, and I think like the first season, I got a really sharp eye, I was like, no, 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 wait, rewind, pause, blow up, that's blindly in! It is! And I Googled it, and I was like, oh my god. And now I know that you're a pageant queen. Yes. You love pageants. I mean, typically yes from Dallas, but... You've been a judge. I know that you... I went all the way to Miss USA. Yes, I saw that. And all the way. Something about how they called you the, the Texas, Florida... The, the, oh, a whole oh bunch in of, Arizona. When yes. I was Miss Arizona, they called me the, the Miss Arizona from Texas. Yeah, what yeah. was that all about, Shay? Well, because my mom had moved to Arizona, okay. and my mother um, suffers from lupus. Oh, oh so sorry. And at the time, she was really having a hard time with her lupus. Okay. And so I'd moved to Arizona to help take care of her, and she was like... She felt guilty that I was there helping give her care. And she was like, please don't quit. I know you really want to go to Miss USA. Will you at least, while you're here, will you at least compete for Miss Arizona? And I felt bad competing for Miss Arizona because, you know, the thing about Texas USA is it, they, they, they will tell you competing for Miss Texas USA is the harder whole, than whole Miss USA. USA. Yeah. Because we're just so like, that's how we grow up. I yeah. mean, pageants are in our blood. Yeah. So yeah, you know, we're, we're taught, you know, <laughs> show up, you know, ready to rock. Yes. And so I was, you know, and, and, and much like any endeavor that I step into pageants, modeling, acting, whatever it is that I've done. I wanted to work at being the best I could be, the best version of me in that field. And so pageants is no different. I mean, like, you know, I feel bad this, this last week when we had our pageant. I, you know, I was, I was being sincere. It wasn't fair for Deandra to compete in a pageant with me because <laughs> I could you, take you, on... You want to kick their ass. I, I can take honest. on anyone in an interview because I trained really, right. really, really hard Speaking of best. Deandra, I mm. never thought I would see I the demise. I rarely do, of, but <laughs> the, the, I never thought I would see the demise of that friendship. All these reports now that you guys are on a friend break. Yeah, we're on a permanent break. I'm very sorry to hear that. Maybe, I'm not. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm not sorry at all to hear that. I'm not. Deandra, who? Okay. Well, here's the thing. Have you ever had a friend where you were a friend to her? Oh yeah, but she so wasn't many. A friend to you. Mm, you gotta just cut them. Cut, yeah, cut like a bad leg. But you don't know, and so you think you think it's this mutual respect and love and mm -hmm. adoration, and it turns out it was a one-way street where I was headed for a brick wall, mm -hmm. and you know she was in a hot air balloon. Oh, and it took off. And oh yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, I think maybe she, her mom had a me. lot to do with that. No, that. I think her mom uh, genuinely wanted Deandra and I to be friends because, you know, at her wedding was the first time where her mother actually had said to her, Deandra, I need you to recognize that Leanne has been there for you. Is being an amazing friend tonight. Right. I mean, there wasn't a thing at her wedding that I missed. The day of her wedding, I went and got the the candles, the unity candles. Someone had forgotten unity candles, so there was so I had run, I got those. Someone had brought them the wrong liquor. She didn't like the liquor, so I went and traded it and got different liquor and, you know, spent my own money to add to get the right liquor. Right. And I don't think I ever got a thank you for any of that. No. I just thought that's what a friend does. Does? And maybe, yes. And sh okay. And so the difference is, I think, you know, in all fairness, I will say this. I don't think Deandra knows how to genuinely love. I don't think she was ever taught it. The multiple and engagements. So and I just think she has a lot of growing to do and a lot of learning to do. And I hope that it doesn't come at too much of a detriment to her because she has a lot to do. Reading your blog from the very first episode of the season, when yeah. she said, Leanne, it's not your amygdala, it's you. And then seeing your- It is me. Seeing Guess what? Me, my amygdala, <laughs> amygdala same, same, same thing. damn thing. Bang bitch. the ball, honey, bang the ball. I feel like I'm we, just we like, need a ball I'm bang like, a moment. Yeah, bang it. Here's the thing. It, it, she keeps doing this thing where she keeps spinning shit, and I'm just like, do you listen to your own ignorance? My amygdala is me. Yes. Me saying that Rich, that, that I didn't want to push the wedding because of Rich's blindness, and then I didn't want to push the wedding because of my own insecurity about dealing with both of them. Right. Both of those are still me. Yeah. Me, uh, why is it such a problem for her right. for me to make my life better about me? Yeah. I mean, it seems like it's a real problem. Yeah. So maybe what she needs to do, because she's got a big enough <clears throat> life that she should focus on that. <laughs> Leading into my next question. Yes. I want to play just a fun little game that I made up. Oh, I love. love. I know you love games. Just don't do Mary, Mary Shag Kill. No, this, I, this, is actually, this is actually my own version of it called oh, good. Sue Murder Affair. Sue Murder okay, Affair. Sue. Murder. Sue Murder Affair. Your whole cast. Oh, God. Oh, my whole cast. Your whole cast, including past and present members. Do you I go to jail for murder? No, absolutely I get, I, not. Oh, this this is the purge. It's I get away with it? It's a game, honey. It's okay. a game. It's a game. Okay. It's a safe space. And you can bang the bowl. Mm. Sue Murder Affair. I feel like I already kind of know your answers, but I kind of want to see if they went up with mine. God, if I was a lesbian, I would totally have an affair with Carrie, because I think she'd totally be into it. Because she's very bendy. Well, she, like, first of all, she loves to get naked. Yeah, all the, it's a little too much. Second of all, she's hot. I mean, you know, her naked body's hot. I mean, like, look, if I was married to a plastic surgeon, I'd be like, fix this shit now. And I'd be look great, too. Um, but I'm not, so I just cover it. <laughs> um, I think you look great. I would so totally have an affair with, with Carrie. Carrie. Who would you What's murder? the other one? You got Sue, Sue and, and murder. murder. God, you know what? I really like Stephanie, but I want to sue her because she has mm. a lot of money, so I'm going to take her money. <laughs> and I'm going to sue Cam because Cam's got a lot of money, so I'm going to sue her and I'm going to win and get all her money. And the pink dog and, and I And I love them. I, literally, probably two of them. No. Nicest. No, the two nicest people on the damn show. I was going to say. But they're, the, the, but they're the only two with actual money, so I'm going to sue both of them. You know, I was going to say, um, the one person I, I feel like is, um, my mom always taught me, never never play with porcelain dolls, honey, because you're very rough. Yeah. I feel like Stephanie is a doll that if I shook a little too, oh, break. No, and I think, you know, I think if you continue to watch this season, you're going to see, I think one of the reasons that I chose to genuinely take a step back Distance. and to be try to be a little softer and quieter around Carrie and Stephanie was because they their triggers the sisterhood yeah well yeah they're already friends and yeah. their trigger is loud yeah and I'm just naturally a loud person and that's fine. first of all I'm deaf but like <laughs> I'm also naturally loud so I feel like for me I kind of felt like um uh if I got quiet with them that I would have an opportunity to kind of engage and really get to know. And so that's what I did this time around was I just really said, I'm gonna hush myself right. so that we have an opportunity because I feel like if we get to know each other, right. you'll understand me and I'll understand you and I'll know when big affects you and I would never purposely affect right. anyone. So, um, so the last one, murder, I'm guessing Brandy or Deandra? 
Hey, you know, you can off both of them girls. <laughs> Child, you can bury, so, bury them in a field somewhere. I okay, so remember. double murder, love it. Double murders, I'm loving this game. And then, the other question. If you had to go to a desert island, which one of your cast members would you not want to be stranded with? Whew, any of, either of those two I just killed in a cow pen. Okay. Leanne Locke, I've got to love her, guys. I'd probably take Carrie, though, if I was stranded and wanted to survive. Because you think she's resourceful? She's, no, she really is. Really? And, you know, like, look, if you got, like, a gash or something, she could tell you if you were like, yeah, it's gang gangrene, we should cut your arm off and but eat it. But I feel it. like, would she be the best one to build a raft to get you off? Yeah, the house? she would. Really? I'm going to tell That's you something. That's shocking to me. She's a survivor, and I think it's why we butted heads for so long was because survivors have this thing where it's like, look. Fight or flight. Exactly. And you know that's what your amygdala is. Absolutely. Is it's the center of your brain right. that when shit breaks out yeah. and you have to fight, flight, or shite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no pun right? I'm the fighter. Yes. But so is Carrie. And I think that's why we butted heads for so long. And so for the first time, it was like, hey, bitch, look. If we're gonna need to fight, let's share the fucking raft. You know, the, the boat's going down. Why don't we both get in the floaty and you paddle left and I'll paddle right, or I don't even care what side you paddle, let's just make it. Right. You know? And I think so for us, that's kind of where we've gotten to is, you know. My next question, which I found really shocking, kind of reading back the blogs, what do you, how do you feel about Brandy saying that you two were never friends? Yeah, I was shocked. That broke me. Sweetie, I cried for a solid week. Um, I, I was really hurt. Yeah. I had everyone who worked with us calling me saying, Leanne, it's bullshit. She's told us she was your friend, that yeah. you guys were friends. Um, but until it comes from her mouth. Did she ever own up to it? No, of course not. Okay. Here's the thing. Don't apologize to me in your blog. Right. Say it to me. Because face. that doesn't mean shit. Right. You have my number, you have my email, you see my face. Right. Your blog, you wrote something. Don't tweet me. Mm. Don't do it to me on social media. Right. There's a blocking, a lot of blocking was going on with your cast. It's just, to me, it's like, yeah, it's, it's a lot of pussy pudding. Child, child, child. So if yeah. you really think you're so royale, yes. step up. She couldn't step up. I just say step up. No, I think she's, I think It's she a reality be. of, you know, you either step up or you don't, but... If you're not gonna step up, don't act like I haven't accepted something. Right. I'm sorry, I don't read the other people's blogs. <laughs> I love that. They get sent to me, I mean, excerpts get sent to me. Right. But I, I don't read 